Hi Booktube, Lynette here and today's video is going to be the end of the year book tag. This is a list of questions about all the books that you are intending to read to take you through to the end of the year. So without further ado, let's get started on the questions. The first question is, what is a book that you've started this year that you want to finish before the end of the year? And my answer for this is The Silmarillion by J.R.R. Tolkien and edited by Christopher Tolkien. I started this, I think, either in May or June. Um, and yeah, I need to get on and finish it. I haven't read anything for a few months. I'm about a third of the way through. Um, I love the world of Tolkien. I love Middle Earth. Um, it's just that this is kind of because it's so much history. Um, it can be a little heavy going at times to read. So um, it is one that I read in bits and pieces. But this is the only book that I have started this year that I have not yet finished, excluding any bind ups of series uh, that I've started. Um, so this is the only one that's been started but not yet finished. So I do want to finish it before the end of this year. Question number two is, do you have an autumnal book to take you through to the end of the year? Um, I don't really pick books because they have a theme. However, when I looked at the books I'm intending to read over the next couple of weeks, certainly, uh, I definitely came up with The Amber Spyglass by Philip Pullman. This is the third book in his Dark Material series. It's a reread as well. And certainly these books, for some reason, do make me think of autumn. I think... When I first read them, um, I was actually catching uh, the bus to work. I worked in the next town over and I caught, was catching the bus every day. And I read these books while I was on the bus. And I just remember getting on the bus in the dark, which meant that it was autumn, winter time and absolutely loving them. So while it might not be autumnal in its theme, um, it definitely makes me think of autumn. Question number three is, is there a new release that you are still waiting for to come out before the end of the year? No, I don't really follow new releases. Um, it's not something I've actually gotten into, um, even as part of tracking authors and that. Uh, I've stopped really looking out for new releases, even by my favourite romance authors. So I don't have anything that I'm waiting on. I don't have anything that I'm anticipating. So no, there's nothing in the way of new books that I'm looking to read the, before the end of the year. Question number four is, what are three books that you would like to have tried to read before the end of the year? The first one of those is Redwall by Brian Jacks. I've been meaning to reread this one for absolutely ages. It's been on my TBR for quite some time now. It's one that I first read when I was about 11, uh, 12 years old. Um, my teacher, when I was in my final year of primary school, so turning turning 11 year, um, he read Mossflower to me and I've got that one on my shelves as well. But Redwall is actually in chronological order of the story, Redwall comes first. Redwall is my sister's favourite book in this series. Um, and yeah, I just want to get round to rereading it. I want to get back into the series again because I really, really enjoyed them. It's uh, set in a forest and a fictional monastery, which is run by the animals of the forest. And obviously they're all talking animals and there are relationships and friendships. There are enemies and there are battles. Um, and it's just a great adventure for uh, nine to 12 year old children. And I thoroughly enjoy this series. Um, I haven't read any of them for a long, long time. So Redwall, I definitely want to try and get to, hopefully at some point by the end of this year. The next two books are completely unachievable. And I know that, so don't at me in the comments. But the first one of the next two is Fool's Assassin by Robin Hobb. This is book one in the Fits and the Fall trilogy, which is the final trilogy in her Realm of the Elderling series. And I know that this series is going to wreck me, but I keep looking at it on my shelf and I keep thinking I need to start it. It's been out for a while now. Um, I, this is the next book that I need to read. Um, and I want to know the ending to Fitz and the Fool's story. And yeah, this is the first book to take me there. And uh, but I definitely want to give it a go. It, uh, Robin Hobb, though, they're, they're chunky books. This one is, uh, this one is 628 pages long, 
um and there's so much detail she packs so much detail into her books they are just the perfect autumnal fantasy read for me and yeah i really want to get started on this final trilogy but i don't want to write at the very same time and the next one is also completely unachievable it is a, another chonker of a book which when you include the glossary is over a thousand pages the actual story itself is 994 pages and that is lord of chaos by robert jordan this is the sixth book in his wheel of time series and we are coming up to the beginning of the slog so i know this is going to be a difficult read um like i say it's chunky it's nearly a thousand pages if i get anywhere near the middle of this book by the end of the year i will be proud of myself um i don't know that i will start it though i think if i start the fits and the full trilogy there's no way i'm moving on with wheel of time this year um and it will just be the two books finished for this year but two books a year i think in this series is completely achievable but these i just i want to know how this series ends i think i've said it a few times before in videos i was reading these books as they were released in paperback um back in the mid 2000s um and i got to book nine um and it was at the stage where robert jordan was becoming ill and he was taking his time and getting the books out getting the story right which i thoroughly appreciate but also because I had such a long wait between books, I was um, getting dispirited, disheartened and the books 7, 8 and 9 and I think maybe 10 um, and sometimes 6 can be a bit of a slog to get through. They call it the slog, um, fans of the series call it the slog and fully acknowledge that they are a difficult part of the series to get through. Um, and yeah, I, I gave up reading it halfway through book 9. Um, so I never finished it and I want to finish it and I definitely want to finish it in the next couple of years so if I can make a start on Lord of Chaos this year then that will really 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 help me out question number five is is there a book you think could still shock you and become a five star read no I don't think there is um potentially Dark Dawn by Jay Kristoff uh because I'm reading God's Grave at the moment but God's Grave isn't a five star book, depending on how well he's wrapped up the series. Dark Dawn could be five stars, maybe, I'm not sure, uh, if I get around to reading it this year that is. But yeah, like I say, the, I don't think too far ahead, I don't think beyond the next month. I am more of a mood reader, um, so I don't tend to pick a number of books in advance that I want to read for the year. So yeah, I'm not really sure about that one. And the final question, question number six, is have you already started making reading, plan reading plans for 2022-ish? Um, if you've seen my videos from the beginning of the year, then you know that I was playing a TBR game where I had all of my unread books loaded into a randomizer wheel. And that randomizer wheel uh, picked two books a month for me. And it was going really, really well. And then I took a break. Um, for the summer months and i haven't really gone back to it yet uh haven't thought what i'm going to do for october but i am probably going to tweak the randomizer wheel and i'm thinking that i'm actually going to do something more along the lines of what cody at cody's reading corner does she was the inspiration for me using a randomizer wheel in the first place but she has a wheel that she uses and she has a series of prompts on that wheel so i'm thinking i might go down that route um and i'm thinking that instead of maybe pick it, picking all my books at the beginning of the month that i might do the spins at the start of the month tell you what the prompts are that i have to fill for the month maybe pick three or four of them and then possibly then my wrap up i will then tell you which books i pick for which prompt and see how that goes um but other than that, no, I haven't. I'm probably going to set myself the same target as I had this year in terms of number of books I want to read and number of pages. Uh, if you look in my description down below, I have a link to my account on Storygraph, which is a rival to the big name book tracker, online book tracker that everybody tends to use. 
but I am um, moving away from that one and I am using Storygraph more. And on there, I'm probably going to set it to 48 books for the year and 30,000 pages. Um, that seems completely reasonable for the amount of books I read and the type of books I read. So, yeah, I mean, I'm way past that this year. Um, I've, I've gone beyond that, um, read half that again. So definitely think that I can um, achieve 48 books. But other than that, no, I don't really have any reading plans for next year yet. So that was the end of the year tag. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, then please give me a thumbs up. And if not already, then please subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate every single subscriber that I get. And if you have a channel, then I will absolutely subscribe back. I put up videos every Monday at 6.30pm UK time. And I will see you all again in the next one. Bye.